Hello friends, welcome to this review looking at the new Kamaz dump truck from Zvezda in 135th scale. Okay, this is about the third release now of uh, Kamaz type vehicles, Kamaz trucks from Zvezda. But this one is a civilian version, obviously, yeah, and that bright orange, nice bit of box art on it. They've sort of changed the uh, tone of their uh, box art, their uh, branding as well, to reflect civilian vehicles as well. I think there's more coming. In fact, I know there's definitely another civilian Kamaz coming out. As usual, paint callouts are Zvezda and Tamiya. On the back is a load of blurb about the vehicle in Russian and English. I'll write this out for you so you can read it in your own time. 426 parts and pictures of the built kit. Let's open the box and see what's inside. Pretty typical Zvezda box in a box. Sometimes a bit of a struggle to get them out. Very solidly packaged, thank goodness, because this one looks as if it had been kicked all the way here from Moscow but I think the parts are good. Let's see what's inside. Okay, some blurb, one bag there, another bag there, big bag of sprues, another big bag of sprues, instructions, and a paint call out. Just a quick point to note, guys. I have built the previous version of a military Kamaz. Check my channel for uh, the build of that. However, I'm interested in your feedback as well. Do you want me to do a full build video on this or just a paint video? No doubt in the future, I will be building this model. Anyways, on with the instructions. Full uh, sprue tree layout showing where everything is located and its number on the sprue. Feature of this kit is a very detailed engine. In fact, a really, really impressive engine. Um, it's, it's a little model kit in its own right. So we start off building the engine, then we do the underneath of the cab. The cab is built up of many different parts. Um, to keep costs down, it isn't any slide molding. Everything is basically flat pieces. They get put together, but there is a full interior. You get separate doors, etc. Once you've built up the uh, cab, this is where you would typically start on most vehicles, but uh, on this one, we built up the ladder frame at step 24 with all these cross members. Very um, important that you get all your alignments correct with all these pieces because it isn't a one piece ladder frame. There's all sorts of detail onto the axles. You've got the uh, compressed air reservoirs, etc. There's the leaf spring suspension. The fuel tanks get built up and bolted onto the chassis. Here we're mounting on exhaust and another fuel tank, the bumper bar. More spare parts going on here, including like air filters. And it looks, I think these are part of the cab mounting points, I believe. Here is, um, we're going to have a look at these wheels in detail. Civilian wheels made up of the, uh, the brake blocks, hubs, and one piece, like rubber type wheels. I'll have a look at those in detail. All the fenders get detailed with more compressed air, fittings, etc. Let's see, up to, st up to stage 44, we've got the basic vehicle built up. On stage, on this page, basically these two pages, we're building up the actual dump truck portion, the uh, portion that would carry the earth or or dirt or whatever it is inside the back. And it's multifaceted again. It's got all the correct detail, all the ribbing as well for the reinforcement of the steel parts. And also, I should have pointed this out as well. We've got the option to mount the vehicle either with the uh, dump truck portion being like dumping its load pardon my phrase or 
conversely in the transport configuration. What's sort of interesting about this is if you check uh, my review on the other commands, you have the option to pose the cab also in a um, like in a maintenance configuration. I've looked at the engine, but unfortunately that is not provided for in this version of the kit. I wonder if the parts are included. Maybe somebody else will know. But um, in any case, you have got this version of deploying the, the tipper basically in one of two positions. Okay, let's have a look at the parts quickly. Okay, we've got three of these sprues in black, which basically are the chassis. And what I'll do is I'll just show you overall the sprue. And then I'm going to go back in and show you in macro the actual detail that's been rendered by these kits. You will be surprised how well detailed this kit is. It was a surprise to me when I built the, uh, the first Kamaz uh, from Zvezda. I thought it would be a little bit underwhelming in detail. In fact, it is the opposite. It is a very highly detailed kit. Uh, here we are, here are, this is obviously the main ladder rails of the chassis. Again, I'm going to show you all this in macro in, in a little bit, but I'm just showing you overall the sort of parts layout. And the third sprue with some of the cab detail. And there's the engine block, radiator, fan. Okay, let's uh, zoom in. I'm going to show you some of this detail. Start by showing you some of this detail of the cab. There's the engine block. And it even features the sort of molding that the engine would have. Parts of transmission, again, with amazing detail. Part of the console of the cab with even more detail. I think actually that is some part of the engine, my mistake. There's the door cards, steering wheel, some other transmission components. And just quickly, I'll just show you the radiator as well. I'm gonna show you all the detail on the ladder frame now. It's got all the mounting points Unfortunately, as well, I need to point this out as well, the axle uh, mounting points are fixed on the ladder frame, so you haven't got that issue to worry about with the wheels being misaligned or the axles being misaligned on the chassis ladder frame. All sorts of extra details as well to show you there. Let me show you the coach spring suspension. And also want to show you some other parts. Not quite sure where they are. Parts of other parts of the chassis ladder frame. I'll show you again some more details on the final sprue. More chassis components on this one, but I want to show you the hub detail on the wheels, which is what I really like. seem to have captured everything very very well and again you can tell this is this higher injection plastic which captures more of the detail not the soft not soft detailing at all this is quite a, a high injection high pressure injection molding okay let's have a look at the orange parts now again i'm just going to show you overall the two sprues first one here is the basic cab as i mentioned before Everything's sort of flat pack, so you need to build it all up. But all the details there, and we'll flip this over and show you how far the detail extends to in a second. In terms of that, is the bottom of the cab, and they've actually this is probably the only kit I know of where you've got the actual underneath of the cab detail with all the ribbing and all the formers and pressings that you would have on a real cab. And the other orange sprue, of course, is the tipper portion or the, um, the load carrying portion. Which obviously makes it a dump truck. And again, flat pack, not one big 
slide molding that keeps the price down and i'll just show you a few parts in detail it's not as captivating as the other sprues there we go i'm just bringing in the macro again to show you what i was talking about with all that ribbing and detail on the underneath of the cab where it won't be seen and there's the inner portion of the cab you see they've got the floor mats detailed and bits and pieces like that here's the cab roof and here are the sides where the doors are located and here are the doors notice all the details separate including handles and everything basically okay let's just uh, show you the final few parts that are left okay we have a separate ziplock bag inside here you have got the stickers of which there's only a few but you have got the registration plate etc and also the like high vis markings that you put on which are contrast against the orange and also you've got the kamaz logo here are the clear parts which are crystal clear and i point this out on zvezda kits their transparent parts are slightly flexible but very crisp and very clean perfectly usable bit difficult for masking of course you've got all that frame detail to deal with but we've got some other parts to look at Here's a nice little feature that you get with um, some of these Zvezda kits as well. You get the mirrors on a chrome sticker sheet. So you can just self-adhesive, just simply stick them on. You've got excellent mirror surface. Okay, here's the bag of tires. And then, oh, let's have a look at these. Now, get that in focus. If I can, there you go. You can see that they've actually detailed on even the actual maker, the manufacturer of the tires, which is Kama. And these are like a soft rubber. Now, yeah, I've got these mold marks here, which um, you would have to deal with to clean up. They're on the outer face. But the actual tread pattern is absolutely awesome. It looks really, really good. But that will be a little bit tricky to get rid of the injector marks that are on the outer face. And you've got them at one, two. Uh, yeah, two locations anyways. But what you can do, of course, is uh, make sure that that face is on the inside of the, um, towards the truck. And this is the showing face. So that could solve it. But I like the detail that they've, they've got on on these uh, rubber tires really nice okay um final thing i should have showed you this before got a very very small uh, paint call out which obviously shows the uh, the dump truck in orange which is the only color you tend to see them um in in russia for construction equipment You've got all the views, but of course, also it's telling you where you place the uh, the decals, the stickers, and of course some of the detail painting as well, which is black for some of the highlights. Now I'm just going to show you very briefly some aftermarket parts that I got from Armor Hobbies. Okay, here's my box of aftermarket that I got on the pre-order from Armor. Got some freebies as usual, and some parts that I wanted for myself. So let's go and have a look at these in detail. Okay, despite the uh, rather strange colour, these are resin aftermarket replacement tyres. You have to combine them with the kit parts for obviously the, uh, the wheel hubs. But um, I was thinking, you know, what is the quality of the rubber that's going to be supplied? They are pretty good. But here you can see that they've also got like a nice weighted wheel effect. And these will look uh, pretty good once they're painted up and weathered and of course again we've got that excellent tread pattern very quickly i have a uh, masking set to help me deal with the transparencies that should help me out quite a lot but unfortunately i don't know if it's got enough to uh, cover the um, the areas which should be black like the uh, the rubber sort of outlying part of the window frames this was a free part from armor 
It's actually a uh, conversion kit to change the dump truck into the militarized version. So militarized lighting, mirrors, but there are some other parts that are quite useful as in the, uh, the windscreen wipers. So I'll be using them, but I don't intend to do this as a military vehicle. I'm really pleased to see a civilian vehicle. So that's what I shall be doing. I've got a set of, um, these are self-adhesive uh, stickers for the high vis type markings. Um, obviously different to the decals that are provided and also alternative number plate license registrations for different vehicles. Both of them are Russian, but obviously I think the black, the black is for a military vehicle and this is the uh, civilian plates. We have some uh, acrylic paint, again another freebie. Um, this is Kamaz in Russian, Oranjevi. Of course it's orange, yeah? It's the orange color for this uh, construction equipment. Hopefully it's color matched. I intend to use this to paint the, uh, the Kamaz. This was another freebie part of the pre-order from Quinta Studio. Quinta Studio, as you know, make lots of really excellent 3D decals for aircraft interiors. And they also do them for 135th scale vehicles. So I'm just gonna show you that to you now, which is the interior detailing. And also again, another set of uh, license plates, obviously with 3D relief but the instrument consoles, and also we've got the 65115, which is the uh, mark number for this Kamaz. We've got the instrument cluster and some other details. Uh, this really should, you know, spice things up in terms of the appearance. And also I think we've got the Kamaz logo there as well. So nice, excellent little add-on. I believe this will be available um, via Quinta anyways for worldwide sale. Final upgrade is a bit of a sad story. As I said, when I uh, received the box from the courier company, it was in a bit of a bad condition and this was the victim. This was a extra that I paid for, 3D printed um, snow plow um, and unfortunately is broken away from the mount on the front of the vehicle. All the little parts are here in the bag I will attempt to repair it. If not, it's just one of those things, sadly, um, especially seeing that it is very, very nicely detailed. I'll definitely do my best to see if I can repair it uh, as it would make a really, really nice addition to the, uh, to the kit. Okay, so that concludes the review and the aftermarket parts. Um, just need to mention as well, my Patreons encouraged me to get this kit as they said that it would probably make an interesting subject for a video. What do you guys think? Do you want to see a full build of the kit? Uh, bear in mind that I've done one previously, or would you rather just see a painting video? Anyways, guys, leave your comments as always below, and thanks for the support. See you soon.